Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars, and you're watching another one of my YouTube guitar building videos. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope that by the end of this video, I'll have earned the honor and privilege of your subscription. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering part four of my hollow body slash solid body guitar build. And what I'll be talking about specifically is how I made the carved top for the solid body guitar. In the last episode, part three, I talked about making the carved top and back for the hollow body guitar. So let's jump on the computer and get started. The process that I follow to create a 3D model is that I begin by creating a full-size, full-scale, two-dimensional drawing of the parts that I'm going to model in Adobe Illustrator. And the reason I use Illustrator is because I can create these files very, very quickly, much faster than I can in my 3D software program. So once I have these elements created, I can then import them into my 3D modeling program, which in this case is Rhinoceros version 7 for the Macintosh. And this is where I build my 3D models. But rather than going into detail about every single step that's involved, I'm just going to let you watch as I generate this uh, 3D model of the solid body guitar top. If you want more information about how I create these 3D models in Rhinoceros, I would encourage you to join my channel as a member, and there you'll have access to this exact same video, but with a lot more narration and detail about how I create these models. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, I would encourage you to click the thumbs up button down below. Do it right now. It's a great way to show my channel support and it doesn't cost you anything. But if you'd like to take your support to the next level, you can visit my eGuitar Plans web store or my Highland Guitars merch store. There's links in the description below. And any purchase you make there is gonna help support this channel so that I can keep making guitar building videos and sharing my knowledge and experience with you. You can also click the thanks button down below and leave a tip in the amount that you think is fair. But if you wanna get the most out of my channel, I would encourage you to click the join button down below and consider becoming a member. As a member, you're going to have access to videos just like the one you're watching, but with a lot more information and detail, and best of all, no ads. Now let's get back to the video.
Okay, guys, that's all the time I have for this episode. In the next episode, which will be part five, I'm going to talk about how I make the 3D models for the two necks that I'm going to be using on these guitars. Uh, one, obviously, for the solid body, and then the other for the hollow body. Two very different designs. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to cover both in the next video, or if I'll do the hollow body first, and then in episode six, do this, uh, the neck for the solid body. We'll see how that plays out as far as time is, is concerned. At any rate, I hope you've enjoyed this video and got something out of it. If so, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also, you can do uh, some of the things I mentioned earlier in the video, like visiting my eGuitar Plans website or my Highline Guitars merch store. There's links in the description below. You can click the thanks button. You can click the join button, become a member, so you have access to videos just like this one, but with even more information and detail. At any rate, uh, as always, take care, stay safe, and I hope you'll be back for more of these guitar building videos. <music>